It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Just having a quick look at my beer shelf. This is the last beer that was kindly sent to me by the Dr. Van der Karna Brewery on the Belgium-Holland border. And I'm so excited for this one. I'm gonna roll my sleeves up. I'm that excited for this one. I've left the best to last. I think I've left the best to last. This beer is 6% ABV. It's called Nouvelle Riche. Uh, VL's Fortunes. It's a Belgian style wheat beer with rosemary and it's been aged on Brunello, Brunello barrels for four years. Now, forgive me if I've got the wrong glassware for this beer. Tell me maybe I should have used a classic Belgian glass. But I've decided to go with a German glass for this beer. With it being a wheat beer, okay, totally understand. It's a Belgian wheat beer, not a German wheat beer. But I'm going to go with the German wheat beer glass. I'm going to do it for two reasons. Normally wheat beers go in a glass like this anyway. German wheat beers do. But the other fact is the beer is in a 750 milliliter bottle. And... I want to get it all out into the glass, really. Well, I won't get it all out. This is only a, a 500 mil to that line. But what I'm trying to say is, I think you'll have a better example of the beer in a tall, long, thin glass. You'll be able to see more of it rather than in a small Belgian bulb glass. So with that said, let's get the beer out. I'm really excited for this one. I really am. And I think it's just a cork. Uh, uh, not a cork. It's just a normal... Yep, just a normal bottle cap, four year aged. Uh, so um, it won't go off until consumed before 2049. Love that, love that. Little bit of smoke on the bottle opening, beer in the glass then. So what I'm going to do, pour some of this beer out. I'm going to stop because it's such a big bottle. And I'm going to see if this has a lot of, I can really get this round in the glass, in the bottle. I want to see if there's sediment. There you go. There you go. That's what the doctor ordered. Ho, ho, ho! Look at this. Look at this. So because the beer has been aged for, well, I've had a few months sitting it on my shelf. It's been aged for four years in barrels. Um, you're going to get that sediment fall into the bottom of the bottle. Most of that sediment has made its way to the bottom of the bottle. So whenever you have a wheat beer, German beer, Belgian wheat beer, always leave, I always leave a good couple of inches, swirl that bottle around and get that sediment in because that's all of your flavour right there. As I'm talking, I can smell a little bit of that rosemary coming through. Slow moving carbonation. What I've noticed about the, the Dr. Van der Corner beers is they're not overly carbonated. They're not massively carbonated beers. Aroma on this one. The, the Telegraph boys are back. I did a beer review the other day talking about the Telegraph people and, and uh, yeah, they're back. They're, they're doing more work on the, on the pole out there. Aroma. This just smells fantastic. The wheat's coming through fantastically well. The rosemary is coming through fantastically well. There's a little bit of biscuity kind of breadiness coming through.
Yeah. Smells amazing. Absolutely amazing. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh. Wonderful. Stone the Crows, wonderful. Oh. Really complex, really complex beer. I'm going to get the slight negative out the way straight away. And I'm going to say, for a, a wheat beer, Belgium or German, probably needs a little bit more carbonation. Just to get that negative out the way first and foremost so we can move on with the positives. It needs more carbonation. It needs more of a lift. It needs more of that carbonation to push the beer around the inside of the mouth to really kind of release those flavours. It's, it's not flat. It's not a flat beer, but it, it definitely needs elevating a little bit with carbonation. But the difference is, and I suppose the problem is with that, and the not the problem, but the difficulty, <coughs> the difficulty in trying to create that carbonation is, is hard because it's been aged for four years. It's already four years old in a barrel. So it, it's very difficult to keep a beer alive that long. So I think when you buy the brewery, the Dr. Van der Karen of beers, First and foremost, I think you have to realise that it's not going to be this kind of greatly carbonated beer. A lot of it kind of does does look like this. And I think that's the that's the difference when you buy a long barrel aged beer. That's the difference. I suppose I suppose what they could do on finishing, they could force carbonate it. But that's probably not in their remit. That's probably not in their they don't want to do that. They want to offer you natural beer that's been aged on a process rather than using machines to force carbonate the beer. Loads of rosemary. The barrel, the barrel comes through as well. You get an oakiness in there. Brunello barrels. Now, I don't know what a Brunello barrel is, to be honest with you. Um, you'll have to comment in the comments box on that. It's got a... It's slightly spirity. That's the best way I can describe it. It's nice. The rosemary offers a tingle on the tongue. It offers an almost... It's spicy and peppery and there's a nice bitterness on the back end. It's very herbal. That's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. It's, it's a very herbal forward beer. I like it. I like it. But what I will say, if, you, if you're expecting a regular Belgian wheat beer, if you're expecting a regular German style wheat beer, this is not the beer. This is something more specialist. This is something more sit down and take your time with. So I'm going to rate it. My, my, I've left my previous beer review in camera here. I just... I just reviewed a damn lemon from Estrella Dam. Uh, I like it. I like it, I do. Um, but I just feel it needs a little bit more carbonation, which is difficult on a barrel aged beer, I know, especially four years. And I think I want a little bit more of that wheat flavour to come through. 
I like it enough to give it a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. A lot of effort, a lot of work gone into making this beer. I appreciate the effort, the time that the brewery have decided to, 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 you know, they've gone in this process of barrel aging beer. It's a barrel aging brewery, this brewery. They've literally got a great big cellar full of barrels, which is just a, the most amazing thing you'll ever see if you get to go to, to Dr. Van der Corona. But I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.